for joining us and watching us on Facebook also. Um, my, name, my name is Marta, as some of you already know from yesterday's session. We start the first open session today. Uh, it's called Intro Space and it's a platform for uh, ideas exchange and possible cooperation. So it was created for people to allow people to uh, share their ideas, tell us about their project, projects that they are already realizing or they are planning to, to, re to realize and organize. And uh, the aim of this meeting is to share those ideas, to let us all know what's happening in different places in the world and to possibly maybe look for future cooperation. So we have four uh, presenters today for project will be uh, presented. Each of them will have approximately 10 minutes to present the idea. And after all the all four presentation, we will uh, give you the opportunity to ask questions and comments. Um, you can ask via chat uh, on Zoom. You can ask to be uh, allowed to speak and be shown uh, be seen on the video, but you can also comment and ask questions on Facebook. I will moderate uh, the session and I will ask the questions to our uh, panelists. So we start this uh, session with Stephanie Hadhandiska. Hi, I'm really sorry, but I was just going to text you in the chat. I have some technical problems right now. Uh, oh. Is it possible that I swap with the second person because there's just like... Lila, is it okay with you? Or with start? someone else? Okay, so, so there, then my pleasure is to present Lila Pnina Livna and the floor is yours. Okay, <clears throat> I thought I will have more than minutes, but I will uh, concentrate now. So, uh, good morning. Um, okay, so I would like to share about um, a new super big project I'm really now uh, launching. Um, so I decided since the corona started, I decided that uh, I felt that I cannot anymore to take part um, in the systems that I'm part of. I really, um, I really took many months to try to reimagine the way I want to live and the way I want to create and the way I want to, to be in this world. And then I decided to open a new kind of institution to really try to imagine the institution of the future or to try to imagine the way I want to take part in the world with friends, with people, the way I want to hand out and the way I want to, my art to be presented. So I'm opening really now in February 2021, a new institution which is called Lilach Pnina Livne. And this institution is, uh, it has four main elements. One is like, it's going to be my own uh, studio for my own research. In the last 10 years, I developed um, a method which, which is called uh, spirit dance. And this dance practice and choreography practice that I developed is suggesting a new kind of relations between the dancers themselves, between the dancer and her own consciousness, between the dancer and the choreographer, the dancer and the institution. So this institution is going to be the, the home for my own practice. This institution is also going to be a, a new school that I'm opening. It's called The Spirit, a school for new directions and relations in performing arts, choreography, and dance. And, um, and this, uh, this school is, um, it has uh, two different departments, one department for dancers and choreographers, and one department for, uh, one department for dancers and performers performers and one department for um, choreographers and creators and um, this school is uh, the first episode of the school is going to start in February 21 uh, till July it's five months super intensive program which going to um, research and try to reinvent the relation we want to have inside the performing art and outside the performing art like to really create a new system in the field and um, I'm gonna, I, I will teach in this program and I invited amazing uh, guests from the dance world like uh, Maria Savi gonna teach in this school and uh, Isabel Luis, 
לריסה ואלס ג'קסון. Also, um, yeah, I, I invited choreographers, but also curators and visual artists and uh, video artists to, to teach in this school. Later, I will tell more about the school. Uh, the third element in this institution is uh, this, this place is going to be also um, a performative exhibition gallery. It means like in Israel, it's the, the first of its kind, that it's a, a gallery that will be only for um, durational dance performances exhibition, only for performative exhibitions. That it's like from a few days till a few months, the, the dance world and the performance world is going to have really independent space for durational exhibitions, it's like not, uh, not one-time events. And the fourth element of this institution, it's a, a new magazine, which called a Better Future. And it's about, it's a magazine that will be, um, that will, uh, the emphasis is only of a new research in performative uh, exhibitions, new formats, new systems. And it's gonna be like international, of course, with um, talks with artists, talks with researchers, um, online videos, um, articles about what is really um, the most exciting and unknown or known, like really off-stream and mainstream researches that are happening um, all around the world in relation to new systems in performing arts. Um, I would like to mention also like that this whole new institution, the main thing in it is like to find a, a more continuous relation with the art, more a continuous art project means that I want to create a place that um, it's an ongoing continuing relation with the art itself, with the audience, with the institution, with the curator, that it's like to invent a format that's like the exhibition, it's not something that you, if the exhibition exists for four months, it's not that you come once and you see the performance and you go home, somehow that the system of the performance itself will be with the development that you are as an audience or as a friend or as the curator, will have the need to come once a week to this place or to, to be more part of the, of the object, of the art itself. That it's not a one-time event, it's somehow to research this term of continuous art and to really find a new system of how the audience, what kind of relations I want to have with my audience, what kind of relations I want to have with my colleagues, what kind of relations I want to have with the art itself and how it could be more like a 10 weeks a performative exhibition that you are becoming part of this cult and if like this is a, an example of one project I'm doing and I'm going to do in this uh, in this performative gallery that is um, it's a 10 weeks of um, a cult exhibition and you are as an audience can become part a member of this cult so you're coming back again and again and you are part of the development of the process of this object um, I also like to, to share that the vision is that it's um, kind of this place for me, it's a mix between, it's kind of a museum, like a gallery, um, part of the art world, but also it's like uh, flirting with the religious world. It's kind of um, a synagogue or a monastery or like a place that you can, that you are coming back to it once a week in order to find yourself, in order to to pray for the art, for yourself, for other relations you want to create in your life. And it's also kind of a forum. I really like the concept of a forum, that once a week you meet with people, that you see them and they see you, that you see that it's a place of reflection, that the art look at you and you look at her, that it's not a one direction, um, it's not one direction relation. Um, so this is the whole, th so yeah, this is the institution I'm, I'm building, creating. I was imagining it, I think, for the last 10 years, and I feel now it's the moment to really open it. And it's, it's, this place is calling for people that are with me in this, in this research, in this search, that are praying to reinvent the system, reinvent the field, to create different relations that I feel, I feel around me also many people are not satisfied with the relation they are taking part of. So I, find, I see this momentum as, a, as an opportunity to create different uh, basic relations we share. And then let's see what kind of art we could create out of this, what kind of dancers, what kind of choreographers will be created out of this concept of different basic relations. 
And, and I think the main thing is to every, all the time to insist on imagining, reimagining how things could happen and never like continue what was there before. Uh, and it's hard, but I think that's why it's a forum, that's why it's a place that involves the faith in it, because I think you need a lot of the other to reflect where you are in order to be in another, in another place. Um, yeah, I talked very fast, I think. I would like to share, I have, you see this now? Can you tell me if you see this image? Yes, we can. Yes, okay, so I, um, I don't have yet the logo, everything is really, sooner we'll have the logo and sooner we'll have the, all the elements of this space, but this is the first announcement I went with the Spirit School, that it's the School for New Relations and Directions, so here, yeah, so it's just one image of the, of launching this um, institution, and soon we will have the main uh, image that will carry, um, I will share this also, maybe it's nice, because there is a, um, wait, okay. The main logo that's gonna be this, the logo of this space is like in reference to the tarot card, which is called the strength. And in, it, in this tarot card, the woman with the softness is taking over the lion. And I really like this change in relations, like it's women power, but also that with softness and careness and the, seeing the other, she could, change the relations and be on top of the, the lion that is like the, the king of the of the animals so i think it's it's a reminder for me and for this institution that it's all the time about changing the existing relations and also to come with softness and to come with um, try to see all the layers in the other not to flatten to flatten the other to flatten the outwards to flatten the images to see like um, to project on the other from the image what they see to fall into this politically correctness that is kind of putting each one in a ghetto and i find i want i, I i'm aiming for a place that like see many details in each of us and the potentiality in it to really experience art as a as a form of a, a living being and uh, existing and communicating um, yes, I think that's it for now. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was re really fast. Uh, really fast. I'm sorry. I said I said approximately ten minutes because it was um, the time given in the call. But as there is uh, there are four panelists today, if you will want to add something later. You, you will have this opportunity. Yeah, no, many times when I'm talking uh, in my own, I like, I'm, I'm flying with my, it's super fast because I'm uh, in this thing. But of course, I can later relax. And it's, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it was really interesting. And uh, personally, it's very resonating with me and my area of, uh, of interests, work interests. So thank you very much. I hope we'll come back to your project uh, in the end. Um, I have an information from Stephanie that she would like to um, uh, speak as the last uh, presenter today. So if you agree, uh, I would like to uh, invite uh, the cultural echoes as second. Is it all right? Yes, it's okay. Fantastic. Hello. So, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't find your name uh, as presenter, so you will have to help me and uh, yes. start with this. Yes. The floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ivona. I am a member and uh, co-founder of uh, Cultural Echoes. Uh, we, are, uh, start, we, we, we started with our work as a uh, non-governmental international association of citizens in uh, 2018 with a great enthusiasm, great ideas, uh, big ideas, and uh, we are, uh, in, in, we are, we are uh, working on our project and activities uh, since 2018. Uh, and we have uh, done some 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 things in the in the field of culture in the field of uh, of uh, non-governmental activities uh, and uh, as uh, one of our uh, one of our main main project is uh, the project of uh, abandon, called abandoned opportunities 
uh, with which uh, we uh, we applied for this for this congress. Uh, and some of you may uh, may know about our work, about our activities, uh, like uh, cultural ECHA. Uh, and now I want to present our idea of uh, the Cuprom, the, the the project for Cuprom, Cuprom Factory and its uh, conversion into a student uh, city of culture. Uh, we started uh, uh, this whole idea uh, begin with in 2018 with uh, with uh, you know, like we were inspired by uh, Ricardo Bowol in uh, Barcelona, Spain, uh, uh, architect that has uh, one factory converted in in his home in his uh, atelier. So uh, we came with an idea uh, what what to do to 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 uh, what to do with the the buildings that uh, are abandoned in our country. Uh, so we started with uh, the the project abandoned opportunities and where we uh, created the um, digital map. That's a map of uh, buildings that we detected in our country that are. Uh, abandoned, uh, such as like factories, uh, student dormitories, uh, some uh, some uh, some schools, uh, but most of them were 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 factories. Uh, of our of catch of our eye was uh, the Kuprom, the factory Kuprom that is uh, located in Skopje in uh, in uh, municipality of georgia petrov uh, precisely in the in the community of chrome it is a very big factory very big uh, industrial complex uh, with great capacity that uh, cultural echo detected uh, in 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 skopje so we started an idea to convert uh, because of its uh, architectural expression or its architectural capacity we start we we came with an idea to convert it in a student uh, city of culture uh, we the idea came for, for this idea came uh, with uh, uh, analysis before uh, that uh, show us that uh, we concentrated on the countries of uh, ex-Yugoslavia, and we uh, we concluded that uh, all all of the capital cities uh, of of uh, of the ex-U republics uh, has this type of of uh, of space uh, space for the students uh, students uh, space of of culture, uh, and uh, we somehow. Uh, we somehow came with uh, with this uh, with this idea to to go go to to initiate uh, to initiate our idea and to work on this on this idea. Uh, we have our first uh, our first uh, our first uh, uh, thing our first uh, nothing our first thing uh, we we organized uh, an event we organized an event. In, uh, in the in the yard of the of the Cuprom factory uh, in back in 2018 uh, that uh, came with eco, eco guerrilla action to clean the, the the abandoned yard to clean the its site and uh, another uh, after that we continue with uh, our our idea and we presented uh, our idea our president simona presented our idea, our idea to the uh, open uh, open uh, citizen association day in the government of the republic of north macedonia and uh, the idea was uh, very very good accepted by the ministry of culture by by the government itself, we have a meeting in the office of the, the president uh, of North Macedonia and uh, he greeted our idea. Uh, so we applied uh, this year in uh, this year we applied for grant uh, in the association of uh, in the agency for Yacht and Sports of North Macedonia 
So we, we, we received a grant to, to realize our idea for Cupra. Uh, the 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 project went uh, the project was named uh, from abandoned factory to uh, the student city of culture and uh, to student city and uh, it was divided in three stages uh, the one uh, stage was uh, we 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 organized an um, a survey, digital survey for young uh, from 16 to 29 uh, year old, and uh, we we uh, we move from our question that the were uh, were uh, to answer on the digital survey, we have concluded that uh, the young need uh, young students uh, need uh, some new space in the city of Skopje where they can uh, go, where they can share their thoughts, their, where they can have uh, uh, where they can have meetings, where they can collaborate with each other. They need some new space in the city that is uh, more bigger than the existing spaces, which are not uh, not clarified as this, uh, this type of, of student city. So we then uh, uh, concluded that this idea has must go on, must go on, and uh, must be uh, expanded uh, to 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 some national level. Uh, so another part from the project, uh, we did it and uh, we organized an exhibition named uh, Copro Mine of uh, Stop Culture, that was held in the in the uh, park of uh, Obstina, George, of the municipality of uh, Georgia Petrov here in Skopje. Uh, we have uh, great uh, visit, there, there were a lot of visitors and uh, the, the feedback was very good. Uh, we have support from the, uh, from the local, uh, local, uh, local, um, from the locals in the uh, municipality of Georgia Petrov. And uh, we have, uh, we know that uh, we have the support from other uh, non-governmental associations in, uh, in 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 Macedonia. Uh, this uh, this project has uh, its goal uh, marked its goal with uh, realization of uh, with uh, publishing of a, a publication named Kuprom, a mine of subculture, which which I have here, and I can uh, I can share just a moment. I can share my 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 screen you can uh, visit our uh, you can visit our you can visit our our publication you can see you can read our publication on uh, the issue uh, it, the publication is uh, is like a final final result result from this uh, project that uh, we made with uh, our partner uh, association our partner organization uh, city scope from Skopje too uh, so uh, and the last uh, we did it a conference uh, in the uh, in in the uh, home of culture in uh, municipality of Georgia Petrov that uh, has uh, reached uh, we we have shared on on Facebook live and it uh, we 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 have a very good uh, we had very good feedback from the conference there were uh, there were uh, participants that uh, that uh, panelists that talked about uh, this idea uh, from uh, many aspects. Uh, we have their uh, lawyers. We have their uh, yacht activities. Uh, we have their uh, uh, representative from the from the government. Uh, we have there the mayor of the <clears throat> of the municipality of Georgia Petrov. And uh, we we uh, we concluded that this idea has must go on. So uh, we have uh, we have signed memorandum with uh, municipality of Georgia Petrov to uh, to uh, invite this to, um, to 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 go to 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 uh, 
to continue with uh, with uh, this idea uh, to the moment that we have uh, reached uh, our goal and uh, make uh, make uh, convert make, make uh, to revitalize uh, the factory of 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 Kuprom, the industrial complex of Kuprom, into a student uh, student city. Uh, we uh, our goal, our main goal with this uh, with this uh, <clears throat> with this idea is to uh, promote uh, to, to with uh, with uh, revitalization and conversion of the factory of uh, Kuprom. We want to promote interculturalism because uh, Kuprom has the capacity to to promote interculturalism. Uh, it has capacity to 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 bring all the students. It has capacity to to create a decentralization of the cultural educational offer that uh, that uh, is outside of the central city area of Skopje, and that would be additional uh, capacity that will respond uh, um, to the cultural needs uh, of of the city. Uh, we uh, have. Um, we have the young people uh, as our support. Uh, we have uh, communication with the, with the association of uh, of uh, young in uh, University of San Cyril Methodius here in Skopje. Uh, from the, the we have uh, young people because they are a key factor of this revitalization and conversion and uh, we want to, to, with this project, we want to raise the awareness of the importance of the abandoned buildings. Uh, me as an architect, uh, I know that uh, it's very, uh, it's easier to create something from, from nothing, to create something on the lot that is, uh, that is empty. Much uh, difficult to create something uh, that exists uh, and to give it uh, another, another use. But I uh, think, and uh, cultural echo thinks, and our partner thinks that the thing that uh, this is worth, uh, that uh, Kuprom is worth to 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 uh, raise this awareness, and is uh, worth to to be worked on on its conversion on conversion. Uh, this uh, this project is uh, this project this idea is in line with the strategy goals uh, for the development of of the culture of. Uh, with the national strategy for development of culture of the government of North Macedonia, because uh, it uh, has declared that uh, one of its goals is to create a, a student city, which Skopje uh, hasn't uh, that kind of, of facility. Uh, so with uh, with this uh, with this idea we we want to to show the potential of this location we want to show its strategic position in the in the city of skopje uh because as i mentioned uh, it uh, will bring a decentralization it uh, of the of the culture uh it will create some space for 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 entertainment some space for for uh for culture that is uh, here in this uh, this uh, this part of of the city and uh, you know the the factory is very near to the the biggest uh, student dormitory Gotze Delchev in Skopje so uh, we think that this uh, this population of of students that is uh, that stays in uh, uh, in the dormitory will come to the Kuprom, and uh, that's one of our great, uh, great uh, motivations. Uh, so, as uh, the end, we want to, 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 to. Uh, I want to uh, tell that I want to share that uh, with uh, not also uh, that we we will achieve this goal to convert uh, to convert uh, Kuprom as uh, from abandoned factory abandoned industrial complex to student city of culture uh, it will will uh, achieve and um, making a, uh, making a history in the uh, in the um, um, in the um, cultural heritage and uh, announce that uh, 
if uh, this conversion take place, this uh, complex will be a pioneer in the implementation of these strategies, strategies and will be a, a pioneer in the uh, making uh, another, um, making uh, the industrial cultural heritage as uh, one uh, part of the cultural heritage of Macedonia, which uh, till today we, we don't have this, uh, this as, uh, as a topic in the cultural heritage of Macedonia. We have also, uh, we have also uh, good feedback and uh, uh, good feedback from the national uh, national committee of I don't know how it says just um, the nation for cultural heritage so we uh, we are very we are very happy that uh, we have uh, the local support that it's needed to to proceed with uh, with our idea uh, you can uh, contact our association uh, through our just a second to share my You can contact our uh, our organization through our Facebook page, uh, through our Facebook page, Cultural Echos or on Macedonian Kulturno Echo. You can uh, you can uh, con contact us through our Instagram page, through our uh, uh, through our email contact at Cultural Echos. Uh, cultural echoes at uh, gmail.com and we are open for uh, we are open for collaboration and we are open to discuss on this team and we are open to 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 make uh, this uh, happen for first time in Skopje to to create student city of culture because uh, we think that uh, the next generation deserve uh, such a deserve such a kind of, of space. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was uh, very inspiring. It's always good to see how works can, how things can be done in other cities and places. So thank you. Uh, if I uh, could ask you just to write your email uh, in the chat. So if somebody missed this part of your presentation, uh, people can come back to it later and it will be easier to contact you. Uh, okay. thank you. So once again, thank you. And now I would like to ask uh, Alexander Georgiev, uh, who is representing Steam Room today. Hello, do you hear me well? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, Oracle, thank you. Thank you for, um, for having this possibility to present uh, my la latest obsession and work and um, and i'm following such a beautiful context i'm following the program it's uh, it looks very inspiring the whole uh, context that you're organizing around uh, so uh, starting i'm alexander Georgiev. Uh, i will not bother you so much about my background i'm here as a representative for the group steam room even though i'm part of a couple of many different structures uh, existing nowadays. I'm here to speak now for the our new and latest kind of initiative, not kind of, but initiative uh, of um, uh, of a project which we're calling it artistic project, but is directed towards uh, building up an institution. And uh, uh, our new project is called Imaginative Choreographic Center. It already have. Uh, have, uh, let's say, initiated and started, and it had its opening in, uh, in uh, September uh, 2020. And uh, it was done within the context of, um, uh, uh, like it was done online due to the, to, due to the situation. But um, let me explain you a little bit more for the whole project, and therefore I will go for other practicalities. Imaginative Choreographic Center, it's an initiative of the Steam Room, pro, uh, Steam Room uh, team group. Steam Room, it's, a, it's an artistic team. 
and uh, we do refer as a team and not as a collective, even though our, uh, our regular uh, type of work, it's a collective authorship or we function only through a format of collective authorship. Um, therefore, in the, for already, I don't know, two years, we exist as a team structure and we call it a team mostly because we started building up a certain, um, certain internal format of, uh, let's call it temporary, a family constellation uh, because of uh, being three artists, me, Alexander Georgiev, Dario Barreto Damas and Jana Pencheva. Dario Barreto Damas is uh, from Spain and Sweden and Jana Pencheva is from Bulgaria. And um, somehow we started collaborating uh, very much artistically, but also we started in make, creating another initiatives and um, we start building up a certain imaginative system support structure for three of us. And um, as the time was passing, our system was growing and growing, and it was only on the basis of imagination, and it was uh, not anywhere legalized or whatsoever, it was only imaginative. Meaning while we are imagining it, it functions. Once we stop imagining it, it doesn't exist. So therefore, in uh, all this uh, funky year around and very precarious and very um, out of certain uh, commonality or order or usefulness of the previous uh, years, um, we start rising up, like issues start appearing more and more and they become uh, louder and louder and so on and so forth. And uh, due to the fact that the steam room team doesn't have specific locality, we are operating in four different countries simultaneously, Bulgaria, Macedonia, Spain, more focused on Tenerife and uh, Sweden. Therefore, we were very much faced already from before, but due to the COVID, we were very much faced with super big limitations. And not only, but many other issues start popping up like the, the issue of understanding of artistic work on, or the necessities for artistic work, of rising up a voice, of another issues that were very, very big for us already from before, but they got even more pumped. It was noticing certain tendencies of nationalization of artistic practices, like even like due to existing uh, um, administrative and, and uh, economical structures in the different um, uh, countries. And due to the fact that we are having already operation between four places simultaneously, we don't have one base or one locality, already we're facing such an issue. And with this kind of closing borders and directing all finances to helping local artists and then local voices start becoming louder in all these contexts and so on and so forth, um, we felt a super big urge already the, the, the done steps we had done until that moment to move them further and to institutionalize or to go towards, to open up a project space platform where we would be researching processes of institutionalization. Therefore, we started and initiated the project of, which is called Imaginative Choreographic Center. Imaginative Choreographic Center doesn't have any legal body, even though it uses maybe seven, eight legal bodies until now, and it doesn't have any concrete limit of how many legal bodies it's going to use in future. Um, doesn't have any locality anywhere, meaning it is not based in specific country, specific city, doesn't work towards development of specific country or specific city or specific artistic practice of specific people. Even though it's very much defined by the people who are taking part, collaborating and uh, initiating, uh, let's say, program lines within that institution. Uh, the thing is that uh, Imaginative Choreographic Center, we imagine it more as a net that researches different support structure for artistic practices and for discursive practices. Our big focus is finding up uh, or looking for like in practice, good practices and for creating a really, let's say, beneficial conditions for moving further and developing further artistic practices and also discursive practices, which have been very strong and important part of our development as an artist and how very little they are recognized from different public institutions, different localities, 
some rec recognize it more, some less. You can imagine that like the platform where we work, like Sweden in comparison to, to Tenerife, it's a huge difference. Tenerife in comparison to Macedonia, it's huge difference. Like they're very different, uh, they're very different political activities and, uh, and uh, artistic practices that have been activated in all of those contexts. So therefore we are more driven from that kind of, let's say difference and differentiation. And, uh, and um, the whole, let's say, the whole initiative, it's directed towards different support structure of artistic uh, processes and stressing a lot discursive practices around the field of choreography and dance, somehow exclusively. Um, I already mentioned that, uh, uh, that uh, Im the Imaginative Choreographic Center doesn't have physical space. It is a matter of practicing imagination and it is a very much driven, like imaginatively constructed uh, structure. And uh, therefore um, we are calling it imaginative choreography, uh, choreographic center due to the fact that it's not imaginary, it doesn't stay only in the imagination, but imaginative, it's something that one can imagine it and can be actualized. Actually, it is not necessary to stay only in the imagination. It is somehow bridge between the imagination and the certain actual activation of, of uh, wishes, necessities, and, uh, and needs. Um, one big, big, big focus and one big important element of uh, initiating such a project, it is the nationalization of artistic practices. This is somehow maybe the first, let's say, secret desire that was like the, the, the giving birth of, uh, of uh, such a project. And um, our biggest focus is towards needs and imagination. Those are kind of two practices, two, two kind of directions, or we call them practices due to the fact that we have certain developed collective, um, collective game structures where we would be expressing certain needs and uh, in relation to imagination and so forth and so back. Um, until now, we have uh, now in terms of practicality until now we uh, we start building up our partnerships and our our let's say uh, collaborations um, mostly uh, to uh, they they take dynamic mostly through personal connections so somehow me as an artist if I operate in four different countries and I legally exist and I collaborate with different artists and different institutions therefore. I'm inviting some of them if they would like to start uh, becoming um, program partners or co-partners or enter uh, together in the institution or and so on and so on. So somehow it is very much on personal uh, uh, relation and communication and we are very much interested and triggered to open up even more space for um, partnerships, collaborations, entering in the structure and so on. Until now, we are three people still running that thing, that, uh, that institution, which opened up, as I mentioned at the beginning of September, and the opening was done within the, con like with uh, following two different, uh, two different uh, events, which are called Hot Topics, which is one of the program lines of the Imaginative Choreographic Center. Those Hot Topics were done with, uh, with uh, four different artists, uh, curators, programmers, cultural workers, and so on and so forth, which some of them are uh, Biljana Tanurovska Kilavkuski, which you know already, it is from Lokomotiva, which is uh, Javier Cuevas, which is from Tenerife, which, uh, mm, uh, uh, yeah, and another two are Ida Daniel, which is a uh, director, choreographer, and generally artist. And um, the one which sadly didn't manage to participate in last moment due to uh, impossibility, it was uh, uh, Anna Efremson from Sweden. Uh, therefore, those two, con two kind of events, they were, uh, they were constructed in a format of public conversation around the topic of imaginative uh, institutions or, and, uh, and, uh, um, and uh, we didn't have any, like, in, we don't have an intention of like inviting specific expertise, but more we want to stress out and focus on practices where we would uh, provide a context that we will be publicly out loud spoken 
creating a situation where we where we will be um, uh, let's say between working dreaming um, and uh, having uh, we call it a sustaining uh, ongoing conversation this is mainly our focus of sustaining constant ongoing conversation um, and after the opening, uh, basically in all this period of, uh, of uh, uh, figuring out further steps and partnerships, we are uh, now, for now three people, which, are, which I mentioned, the part of Steam Room, but, uh, uh, but this uh, kind of capacity of three people is very little for what type of plans are coming and what type of programs are coming. And, what possibilities are arriving here? Locomotive is entering as a as a program partner as well for the 2021, and um, and uh, we are already in discussion with a couple of other places for entering as a program partners in in that in imaginative choreographic institution. Um, the thing is, until now we are only, as I mentioned, three people. We need a bigger capacity. We are now in the moment of looking for other people since we are uh, three of us also active artists. So somehow, um, uh, somehow uh, it is quite a lot of work and uh, uh, we are hoping until January to already find at least one to, to maximum three more people to join in terms of practicality the whole, for the whole infrastructure of the of the institution, the people are not necessarily to be from specific country or specific context or specific whatsoever specific. It's uh, driven more on needs or basis of imagination or necessity. Uh, to present you somehow shortly the program lines for 2021, we have focused due to the fact that we are stressing a lot discursive practices and we are stressing a lot artistic uh, processes. Um, one main thing that, uh, that we are focused, uh, that we would like to have permanently through the whole time, this is a research group. So for the next year already, I cannot announce names still because since we still haven't invited the people, since we are still uh, kind of constructing the budget and making all these creative processes of making budgets between a <laughs> couple of countries. But um, uh, for the whole next year, we do have already the budget and the structure for uh, starting the, the research program. The research program is going to be yearly or couple of years uh, program, which depending on uh, finding out budget structures, which is going to be specific um, invited um, artists, curators, uh, cultural workers, uh, or, um, uh, or cultural managers or whatsoever. Um, that basically somehow we collaborate with them and they have specific personal or artistic or cultural interest into, um, into creating or uh, thinking or co-creating basically, or uh, co-thinking or uh, correlating into the concerns around imaginative uh, structures or imaginative institutions or building an imaginative institution. And, um, and in the, uh, for the next year, we have a team which is constructed out of artists, cultural workers, curators, and, uh, and managers, which, uh, which will be full year around. Um, but uh, yeah, this is one program line and we are imagining either it's going to continue or the year after that is going to be another team focused on another, another issue somehow, a, a, a research program, uh, research group, which will be, also feeding, uh, growing, also uh, bringing concerns into the whole mechanism of imaginative institutions. Another uh, very strong uh, program line that we already have started in the past and we are kind of uh, now uh, passing it on to Imaginative Choreographic Center, it's called HOT. And HOT contains a different focus. Uh, this is mostly for developing discursive practices, meaning we have Hot, uh, within HOT, we have different segments, HOT Room for Audiences, which is developing different um, discursive practices for kind of um, not taking audience as one mass of people, but classifying which type of audiences we do have. How do we fit as program lines the different audiences? It cannot be that the colleagues, which are regular audience or um, or the regular audience, which is quite well involved within the artistic processes, but doesn't have neither education, neither professionally works as, a, as an artist, 
they also have different necessity of feeding information or exchange than the audience which is coming, uh, let's say, regularly but doesn't or not so regularly. So somehow we wanted to develop different formats of program lines or, or different activities or different um, initiations that would somehow fit the different profiles of audience. And, um, and also we have in that format uh, Hot Topics, which is the format that I mentioned, which is for now digitally happening due to the situation, but we are also in the digital live that will be also recorded and uh, put it on the website, um, which is uh, for keep sustaining active conversation on specific issues around that imaginative choreographic center. And it is in the moment working structure, meaning not so much lecturing format, not so much uh, workshop format, rather than active conversation. And then uh, Critically Hot is the other uh, segment of the HOT program, which is basically um, any formats of, um, of feedback structures, uh, critical reflections, uh, any format of practices, either text format or performative of game structures and so on and so forth. Um, then another, totally another program line, we have called Poetic Bodies, which is a certain format of container of where one would have the space to present um, any format or uh, any stage of its artistic work, either uh, just an initiative, an idea, and wants to present it publicly and share it and have a certain format of feedback, or after one week of work, or after a research, or after a production, or during a production, or finished work, or unfinished work, or whatsoever. Somehow, a full container of different stages of, uh, of uh, period when certain work would like to meet, and in what format would like to meet with a specific type of audience chosen, generally invited, and so on and so forth and creating conditions and formats and thinking of, of program lines or program activities that would, uh, that would uh, enable somehow what is the most beneficial there. Uh, then another program line, which is mediation projects, which mostly focuses around uh, training programs and, um, and, uh, and uh, workshop formats, lecture formats and stuff like that. And um, uh, we have another program line, artistic productions and co-productions, meaning we, we are having already budget structures for co-producing artists and producing artists. And we are figuring out of ways how the least they could bother with artistic, uh, with uh, bureaucratical structures, excusing uh, money in a specific uh, construct format. So mostly everything is somehow like already existable format, but the whole, whole intention is somehow to build up, let's say, uh, uh, um, more um, uh, conditions for artistic processes and cultural processes that, uh, that would not need to satisfy certain national bureaucratic structures or nation nationalistic, let's say, ideologies. And I forgot one program line, which is uh, within the HOT that I mentioned, and this is HOT bodies. And that one, it is focused uh, already in uh, in uh, kind of an ed between an education and a moderating uh, format for new upcoming um, artists or artists that would like to even try out without the necessity uh, publicly presenting something or only five minutes uh, uh, situation or uh, or just an idea or orally uh, um, uh, sharing it and uh, so on and so forth. Um, that that we will provide a context with full uh, residency program, uh, mentorships, uh, with uh, with uh, meeting them with media processes. Somehow with this poetic, with uh, this um, hot bodies, what we want to create, we want to create a context where we will have a specific also lecture, specific conditions, and specific, uh, we will uh, provide specific meeting with all media formats that we have, with all venues and spaces, because especially the young one, they like starting from us, we never had contact with specific venues and spaces and so on, like, like us, already people that have uh, developed, let's say, uh, their practice. And um, we find it very important that within educational structures, there is program, uh, programs providing education for freelancing life, meaning in all our uh, educational system, uh, our educational structures where we pass, very rarely or almost at all, only in a non-formal non educational structure somehow, one can get um, certain knowledge or information of know-how or 
or a specific image what it takes to be in a freelance art world. It's somehow most of the public educational structures are educating quite strongly for institutional, uh, for institutional or academic way of functioning. So somehow the freelance, uh, like say precarity mechanism and, and paradigms are somehow uh, slipping between only like if you end up in certain analytical or reflective circles by any luck. So somehow with these hot bodies, we would like to focus into building up a context which is not only educational, but somehow it is also on the exchange level and uh, with moderation, uh, kind of more kind of focusing on moderation aspect and sharing resources with new upcoming, um, upcoming uh, let's say artists, which are either choreographers, uh, performers, dancers and stuff like that. Um, this is the program lines. They're all starting from January on. Like, so next year is going to be full. Somehow, sometimes we don't know if three of us at all can manage it. This is why we need uh, more people because it's overlapping. It's a lot of overlapping activities. But, um, but uh, and it is not, some of them are somehow focused in specific place due to the fact that uh, specific budget be, being kind of, uh, They've been granted, it has been granted by a specific, from a specific country, but this doesn't uh, stop the procedure there somehow because we are trying to apply in all countries that we operate and if somebody anyway have interest to join in all that structure group and whatsoever, this every, in every moment expense and the budget, it's very much um, shareable resources if uh, Sweden can provide more and Macedonia less, this is a perfect opportunity for certain balancing of, uh, of let's say, financial possibilities. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, what I want to share only is the screen to present you a little bit. Wait, where is it? Here it is. Uh, I hope you'll see it. I think so. And then, um, I can show you only, wait, let me just move this one down, okay. I can show you only, this is our logo, so whenever you see it, that means it's Imaginative Choreographic Center, uh, standing behind certain support structure there. And uh, here I can share this document, which is short about ICC and um, uh, specific objectives and program lines, and here you can check our media where to find us or to contact us or uh, how we can enter in communication. For now, our mail is hello at imaginativecc.org. Our website is imaginativecc.org, which is still under construction. We are hoping to launch in January with the whole program line because somehow it is very slow going. And uh, Facebook and Instagram, it's again the same logic of uh, you look for imaginative CC. This is how you can find us. Now I'm stop sharing the screen. Um, and and uh, thank you very much. I'm done. Uh, and I will be happy to enter in any further personal, private, and or what's even public conversation. Thank you so much. I absolutely admire your passion and the fact that you are doing so much with such a small team. I sympathize with that <laughs> very much so. Um, okay, this um, presentation is being streamed on Facebook and will stay on Facebook. So if you would like to go back and check the contact uh, information, you can find it on the recorded video. Um, now I would like to ask Stefanie Handiska uh, to uh, present her her project idea. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. Um, just one second. Um, to share my screen. Can someone please confirm you can you can share the screen? Yes, you can see it. Awesome. So hi everyone. Um, my presentation I think will be way shorter and I'll try to be very concise. My name is Stephanie. 
I am a Bulgarian choreographer. I am based between London and Bulgaria. I have graduated uh, from London Contemporary Dance School at the place in 2020, this very interesting year. And um, the reason I wanted to join this conference is I really wanted to see what's happening in the Balkans. I know Atze from, and I know Steam Room. And uh, so from him, I know about Komotiva, but Honestly, I would really like to collaborate more within the Balkan region. Um, I, am, um, I am the founder of Men with a Hat, which is an NGO, dance NGO in Bulgaria. And we are specifically targeting contemporary dance and dance film. And we do that through creating our own work, but a very, very big part of our mission is also supporting others, um, our colleagues, and especially younger artists into, into finding their pathway into dance and dance film. So until, until this year, 2020, a lot of the work we were doing in terms of mentoring, um, helping young dance artists, uh, either with their portfolio or with educational initiatives, even helping them find the right place to, to go abroad and to study abroad was something we were doing absolutely as volunteering, something that we were just taking as a mission. Uh, but this year we have received a little bit of support from National Culture Fund in Bulgaria and we are doing that uh, in a way more structured way. Oh, how do I change my slides? Sorry, one second. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, this is me. This is my personal work. And I don't know why I couldn't just uh, because I'm mainly based in London, but I come to Bulgaria every month. I come to the Balkans to work there. I just couldn't, as a person, just turn my back and uh, <laughs> leave Bulgaria, <laughs> as challenging it as it might be, and just um, focus on uh, working in uh, Western Europe. There's, um, there's a very specific feeling I have since I had my education as a dance artist in Bulgaria about the lack of um, any support of any, as uh, Atze was uh, describing, discursive practices of any even like, I don't know, pathways for a young uh, choreographer or a young artist that wants to um, wants to work with choreography in general in, in Bulgaria. And that is why I think the, one of our main missions at Men with a Head is, is working with education and really trying to, trying to help like young dance artists find their own voice and um, yeah, just, just, just help them find what it is inside that they wanna bring out. Um, so as I said, this year we have a big program that's called Focus Screen Dance and we are doing a one-year educational uh, program for uh, people that want to do dance film and screen dance. Um, for us, it's super important to be inclusive. So we are offering the program to people that are coming in and outside of Bulgaria and also people that are coming from dance or but also from film but also from visual arts as well as we are open to work together with people without any significant prior experience but that we like upon discretion that we believe that they have uh, the motivation and they have uh, inside of them really the interest to work in a, in a, in such a field because we understand dance film in a very expanded way. We understand it as um, an art on screen that involves choreographic methods. We don't understand it as uh, necessarily that a film that involves choreography or a dancing body, a dancing human body, but um, we see it in a, in a way that it involves choreographic 
choreographic uh, manners of com of of seeing the world and composing composing a piece. So we are currently midway through the application process and we are going to work on um, on the educational platform from January until almost the end of 2021. We are currently working with a lot of um, artists that we know both from Bulgaria and from around the world that we would like to invite to teach or even just to make a guest appearance and to, to just have a coffee talk in one of the sessions, um, show their work, speak about their practice. And it's all like I would say really concentrated through that visual uh, digital screen, screen making. And yeah, honestly, I would uh, at this point, because the, 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 the project is in its like really initial stage, I would just love to collaborate with other organizations as well as single contributors from the Balkans specifically, because I'm super eager to know more people and more dance artists in the Balkans. But also we are open to working with people from around the world that would like to be involved into either the educational platform or in the whole program because Focus Screen Dance will be creating the educational platform on one, stand, uh, no, on one end and we also have what we call dance cinema for small rural areas. So we will be in the summer taking um, dance film around Bulgaria in areas and in towns that are deprived of cultural access. We will make, uh, we are currently organizing with 27 municipalities projections and showing films. And also we would just want to personally, very personally meet with different communities in Bulgaria and speak to them about what access to culture they have and what access to culture they might want to have. Because I'm not saying everyone needs dance and dance film, but we are just very eager to, to meet people from these towns and these uh, smaller uh, living places and really like give them the floor to see what we are bringing to them in terms of dance content, but also to really hear how are they feeling about it and uh, what do they feel they would like to have more in their lives and then bring that to the institutions and say because we're going to actually have a handheld camera and we're going to make a, a documentary about the whole the whole journey and bring that to the institutions not only at the end of focus dance uh, dance cinema not only give the institutions a financial accounting and reconciliation but for us it's very important to to give the institutions also feedback both from us but also from the audiences that we have met and um, so this, this film is also very key for us. When at the end of the educational platform, we are going to be mentoring our students for almost three months into creating their own um, ambitious dance films, I would say. We are also giving them a reasonable basic budget for them to be able to have um, just some funds for whatever they want and they will have every every student will have their own designated mentor and in the end we'll have a festival with their work that they will we will give the floor to our students to curate themselves but of course we're going to support them um, as much as possible with our connection and with our experience and last but not least we are going to produce three dance films uh, as a team one film on femininity uh, which uh, which is coming from me as an author, one film on masculinity from a colleague Costa Karakshian, and one film on youth, which is uh, going to be directed by Sylvia Cherneva. And that's, that's honestly the agenda for, for the whole program. And we would really love to hear from, as I said, both single contributors, artists and organizations that uh, either see a parallel on the mission of creating more functional education in the region 
uh, or see dance film as a mission. And yeah, we would just love to work with you. And I just wanted to say last but not least, I was really interested in uh, hearing everyone else's presentation today. And especially, um, I definitely recognize our mission in Men with a Head and what Atsa was describing about working with institutions and what does institution mean and how to create our version of institution that it will be functional for us as dance creators rather than the institutions that sometimes are more of a roadblock uh, to us. So yeah, I'm really grateful I was able to hear others' presentations. This is, uh, we're currently working on the visuals for the Focus Screen Dance program and these are our contacts, the foundation's contacts, and also my personal, and I'll post them in the chat now. I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a pleasure to listen to uh, such diverse and uh, passionate uh, presentations. Uh, I hope that you will find people who who will contact you after this presentation, Stephanie. Um, I can't see yet any questions from uh, other attendees, but I have one question that uh, Stephanie already perfectly answered, um, but to, to other um, people who presented uh, the, their projects today, I would like to ask as we as Oracle Cultural Network, we come for, from very great many countries and we um, sometimes look for contacts and possible cooperations um, in, in uh, different types of projects and different areas of art. So I would like to ask uh, the three of you basically now, so Cultural Echoes, uh, Lilach and uh, Steam Room. Um, is there um, any way, any area that you are specifically looking for uh, maybe international partners? And if so, um, I know that maybe not next year because your plates seem to be very full, uh, but in the future, if so, um, what uh, types of organizations, institutions, artists would be most, most interesting for you from abroad to cooperate with? Um, do we do in, a, in the same order or just pop up? popcorn style please just pop up if you if you have an answer if not i will not force you to to do that <laughs> yeah nice yeah uh well uh more specifically or more concretely uh speaking from our side what for example for now we can imagine <laughs> it's uh it's very much uh certain program uh let's say program partners or because we have really strong uh, interest towards initiating a certain also a residential format. It just somehow still we cannot fully imagine it and fully construct it because we can, don't have fully resources for it. This is also somehow that we are very interested to, uh, to in initiating certain imaginative uh, residency structure. And um, and, but generally, like uh, in terms of steam room and in terms of imaginative choreographic center, like we have in the last, since the last meetings, we have been imagining that our new collaborations partnerships can go on many different scales, either more artists joining the team, either not necessarily artists or cultural workers or just more resources in terms of, uh, people that would be, uh, let's say, human <laughs> resources that ha can be, um, that have interest for such an initiative and jumping in, or certain program partnering and co-partnering, which means uh, uh, if somebody have interest into focusing more in discursive practices, and since we are interested in, um, 
in rather building up uh, uh, program activities rather than developing certain legal body organization. <laughs> we are more focused in, uh, since we are all choreographers and dealing with uh, management of <laughs> people in space and time. Um, and uh, so in terms of program lines, in terms of, uh, in term of uh, critical practices, in terms of all of the program lines, we can imagine them internationally happening in so many places since we don't have a space and doesn't need to be in specific space. Once we enter in communication, we can figure out how we could spread it in, in more places, how we can make it uh, accessible and visible for many different contexts for which would be valuable. And uh, yeah, so basically the, the type of uh, partnership collaboration, I can imagine it in, in, in many different scales, operational, program-wise, um, just uh, keep communication and conversation and Therefore, I, we don't have any like specific one that it's more important than the other one. Hey, hey, I would like to answer as well. Um, okay, I think for, um, for my institution, there are two uh, clear visions for what kind of collaboration can be now, but of course it's like for me it's also to all the time imagine what kind of exchange we want to have and what kind of format of collaborator collaboration we could create in the future but um one clear direction is the that this institution i forgot to mention that is i'm based in israel and the institution is uh, in jaffa south of tel aviv in a very beautiful uh, place that i'm designing now but this institution is also um, traveling means like in the end of 21 the institution will travel to moscow and we will build for one month um, um temporary the institution will be a temporary club uh, in moscow and there the main thing that um, um i will curate uh, artists uh, local artists also um, some artists from israel will travel with me but also some artists theoretician uh, choreographers, activists from Moscow will be part of this institution for one month and um, so it's kind of also uh, and of course uh, the artists that will be part of this month the one with that are, they have this sharing the same needs and the same uh, like uh, vision of uh, reimagining the new kind of institution or new kind of practices or new kind of uh, continuous art meeting with the audience so this is one way of collaborating that is to collaborate between different um, countries and to make exchange with the artist and the, the institution will be a temporary place in a, that can be hosted in a museum, in a, in a different uh, structure, um, which is a cool way. And the other way, it's more um, exchange, like to come uh, exhibit in the performative uh, exhibition gallery or to come teach in the spirit school or to give uh, an online lecture to share and to maybe uh, a collaboration is to rethink how we want to collaborate. So I think there are many different uh, possible that maybe I don't yet know about how to, yeah, how to collaborate. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, I would like to to uh, to to say that we also as cultural effort are uh, very open to any kind of collaborations. Uh, we have already established collaborations with uh, with international organizations uh, such as uh, Thermokis from Kosovo, from Pristina, that uh, have the, that is an organization that uh, had worked uh, in a project like ours. So they uh, converted also an uh, abandoned factory in uh, community center of culture and uh, we, we, we are in contact with them and we, we have their support. Also as uh, we, we are founded as uh, international organization because uh, two from our co-founders are uh, uh, the one is from Barcelona, Spain, Thomas, and the other is from uh, Montenegro. Uh, Balshak. So we, 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 we kind of uh, in these uh, two two years of existence, kind of uh, established this this international 
communication and uh, they, they they spread uh, they spread the word of our uh, of our activities of our engagement uh, we also had uh, communication with uh, Spanish architects uh, for, for our project for the sports hall uh, Partizan uh, that we uh, collaborated with the municipality of, uh, of Karposh uh, and the mayor of Karposh and the Association of Sports Veteran of Macedonia. So yes, uh, we, we are open for international support of any kind, from volunteers, from uh, experts in our teams and topics, uh, and uh, uh, students and uh, people that, uh, activists that already have, uh, have knowledge in this area that we are working. Uh, we also, uh, on our uh, page, Cultural Echos Orga, we have, uh, we have a forum for collaboration. So I posted the, the link to our, uh, a link to our uh, website uh, on this thread. So there, there is collaboration form in English and in Macedonian. So anyone who wants to, who thinks that this is uh, excitement project, who, this, who thinks that this idea has a very good uh, path and it can be, uh, it can be realized, uh, we are welcome to, to join us. Because as much as we are, as much the group of, uh, of collaborators is bigger, we have more chances to, to push this project and to uh, be, to, 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 to make this, uh, to make this, uh, this happen, to make the conversion of uh, Kuprom make and uh, to make this conversion of Kuprom real, and uh, to finally uh, Skopje to to uh, to to have um, a student city of culture. Thank you. Thank you so much. We also have uh, questions uh, on chat. Uh, two questions asked by Viliana. Let me. Uh, read the first one. Um, it's very interesting that, that uh, mostly there is a fascination with the institution, uh, such as such uh, as schools, institute, schools, institute center, student center, or else. By most of you, is this because of certain criticality towards the existing institutions, or lack of them, or else? Uh, and we already have a short answer by Stephanie that in case of men we've had, yes, we feel we don't uh, feel represented by institutions and we don't feel they, uh, they're doing their function, especially in relation to education. But I think it's a very interesting questions. Maybe other, uh, other ones of you would like to, to answer. What's, what's the reason? Is it uh, really that there is no institutions to work with or we don't trust them or uh, what's, what's the answer? Um, I would say that for me the need to create this institution, school, gallery, studio artist, uh, different way of uh, a new kind of institution, I think it's for um, mostly I feel that the structure that exists doesn't allow for new things to appear. So I think we need to recreate the system itself or recreate the basic for, to let the new art or new kind of communication or new things or new way of behaving and living. So we need to build new structures because I feel that the structures that exist are kind of repeating the same mechanism that existing for many years and there is no way to, to switch things, to rechange the order, to really create um, new direction so it's you know it's so instead of doing slow motion progresses that maybe in 100 years there will be some uh, place for uh, the otherness so then let's do now this chaos and try to recreate other uh, other um, like um, base yeah like to start from a different uh, basic and different conditions. So I think the conditions are what we are missing. So maybe other conditions could create other way of thinking. Amen. Thank you. Is there anybody else who would like to answer also this one? This question? Yeah, I really, I mean, I really do, do <laughs> agree with uh, Viliana's uh, focus and uh, parameters here that she placed it. 
even though I would go, uh, I would like to respond to it that uh, with Steam Room, what we are, um, where we are uh, kind of directing and thinking towards and uh, from where the initiative goes is first of all, like it's simultaneously in the same time by not having such institutions that could represent or not even represent, just simply like function and operate and uh, open possibilities to operate in such a way, especially nowadays when so many artists are between couple of different contexts and localities between, between different countries. Uh, it is very important to start speaking about denationalization of, of, uh, of institutions uh, and artistic practices, therefore, it's very connected for us, that thing. Or for me, like I can speak from I position, whatever. And, um, uh, but, uh, but in the same time, it is the wish to also a little bit trigger in the zone of institutionalizing imaginative structure, like how we could operate and create an institution, an institutional structure on the basis of imagination, which is also very much implemented within artistic processes and artistic products. This is why we also kind of initiated that whole idea of institutionalizing or, or entering in researches areas of what would mean institutionalization in imaginative structures. Um, yeah, basically it's due, like shortly said, it's due to the, to the luck and due to the wish, <laughs> to the necessity of doing so. And then I noticed certain uh, continuation of that uh, uh, question of how, um, how institutionally we're gonna connect it with the local and how it's going to benefit uh, for the local context. And there uh, I would just continue, maybe take the, <laughs> take the continuation of that question, that, um, uh, that somehow, the, um, not somehow, but uh, working on, on in specific context and feel, let's say for example, in the context of choreography and dance where we are focused, there is, it's impossible to, to work towards one or towards the other exclusively somehow, or so I find it very difficult that it's somehow possible due to the fact that it's very, everything is operated on networking structures or most of the things. And, um, and Steam Room, we have been discussing quite a lot, do we really somehow activate and, and put our focus on, on different localities or do we, uh, do we focus on international aspect? And somehow we don't have interest neither for the one, neither for the other one, but somehow that whatever, uh, that, uh, that the program lines, they will be, or that, that the activities that the advocating for what we want to communicate or what we want to not know and keep in the research mode, it's, uh, we want to keep it that neither we want to internationalize it, neither we want to localize it, be, but we want to extend it somehow between those two so that it would have a certain uh, uh, intrinsic uh, connection with, with local different necessities, but somehow we'll be also tracking and, and translating what those necessities with other localities does. And this is why, because we operate, we, we do the mostly the program lines in places where we operate, the people who are active in the Imaginative Choreographic Center. It is not, we don't do places in, in, let's say, to imagine it to do a project in Mars or in another country where it's nobody have access or, or any, let's say, um, active cultural presence in, in terms of necessities, uh, values, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that would be my... Uh, we are technically uh, on time that we were supposed to finish, but we love the discussion. So if it's okay with you, I will give you an opportunity for last answers and last comments. Uh, still not everybody answered uh, Liana's question. Uh, would, yes, would you like to? Yes, I, I would like to answer the question. Uh, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, we, we have um, we have uh, collaborations with the institutions of in the Republic of Macedonia. Uh, we have uh, we have support gained support from the Ministry of Culture. We have gained support from the President of uh, Republic of Macedonia. They kindly 
uh, they kindly uh, uh, they they approved our uh, uh, they approved our propose our request for meeting and uh, we we have we have talked about uh, about this uh, about our idea about this issue uh, but I want to mention that um, uh, um, as far as uh, is now, everything is only on paper and uh, it's very, very hard to to work in this uh, in to work in this field of uh, like non-governmental organization because there are very many many activities many meetings uh, there are many uh, very work has to be done so you to achieve something that uh, you have to imagine uh, as uh, but we we have hope that uh, we can uh, we can uh, make uh, through this process of collaboration and to uh, make the government and to make this uh, this institution that are relevant for our pro for our project uh, to hear us to uh, we have uh, we we had the opportunity to. Uh, um, present our idea in front of the government, of representative of the government, because, but because of the situation with uh, COVID-19 uh, that was uh, postponed, so uh, uh, after everything is uh, good uh, in this, uh, with this uh, pandemic, we would like to purchase this uh, idea and to finally realize uh, again from for the representative of the, of the government to 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 present our idea as uh, for the international collaboration and how we we are going to use this uh, i want to say that uh, we, wa we want to use the international examples uh, for national realization that means that we have to uh, to give uh, the, the, to the government a uh, package uh, that uh, is already done like this project. Uh, like I mentioned before, there are some, uh, some good examples in Slovenia as the Metelkova Center, in Zagreb as uh, Tvornica Kultura, in uh, Belgrade uh, as the center, uh, the uh, International Art Center uh, KPGT and Pristina Thermokis. So we would like to use this example as a good example to uh, to um, to inspire the government uh, that this is a very good strategic goal uh, for 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 uh, national development for national cultural development. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just for our viewers on Facebook, uh, let me uh, read a short conversation here on chat. Biliana um, uh, answered, thank you for your answers, Alexandra and Lilach. Seems that we are all maybe oriented towards realizing new institutions as anti-institutions we know. And for this we have Lilach's comment uh, exactly with uh, with a smile and totally yes from Alexander. Uh, thank you so much for this uh, session. Uh, I would like to uh, invite you uh, to join us at 3 p.m. for open discussion with provocative title uh, Who Cares About the Culture? So let's hope we will see all of you in two hours, less than two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it was really inspiring. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>